Okay, what is up everybody? Today is technically rock and metalhead Friday, but so we are honoring it in a way, but we're checking out Voice Play, an acapella group, but their cover of perhaps one of the most beautiful, relatable, sad songs ever, man, Radiohead's Creep. We've checked out several renditions of Creep on the channel already, but Voice Play is a rabbit hole we've been starting to go through. Dale Timberlake, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. To all of you who have donated and helped out the channel, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hate having such a large to-do list and a lot of y'all have like have all of these songs you're wanting me to check out, but time, man. And it's, I, don't, I don't make enough yet to make this a full-time job yet, so I know. Just thank you guys for the help. But let's check this out, man. If you're new here, welcome. If you're new, um, a reason why I've really enjoyed going down the acapella rabbit hole is because I myself was in an acapella group when I was 14 years old. I auditioned, not like as a joke, but just like like a what, what like whatever, and I made it. And it was one of the best experiences of my life, just performing with these with these folks. Then I kind of stopped choir for a couple of years, but then my senior year in high school got into it again. And that senior year, uh, my my choir teacher kind of let. He took me under his wing a little bit and kind of coached me a little bit on like opera and whatnot. And we did really well. We actually performed. I, I I competed in the Utah vocal competitions and you can't necessarily win at the next level. You're just getting scored a one being the top score. And I got one in every in, in every series. So it, it went pretty well. So that was cool. I didn't know I could sing. If you ask me to sing now, I actually I can't. I, I feel like I lost my voice, but whatever. I guess my high school friends could vouch for me. Or just anyone in my high school. This is featuring Anthony Gargula. First time I've heard of the dude. So I'm excited to see what he does. Arrangement, video, and light design. Eli Jacobson with concepts, concepts from Casa de la Casalucci. Because it's it's him and his wife, right? Okay, this is this is cool. So this is Eli's arrangement. I'm excited to check this out. When you were here before. Oh, wow. Couldn't look you in the eye You're just like an angel I have goosebumps already, dude Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special you're so very special But I'm a creep Dude, I'm gonna start crying, bro I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't care if it hurts I have to cut him off, bro. Oh man, the intro got me super emotional, bro. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the reason, the song is, again, when I, I feel like all of us can relate to the song because all of us in some circle, in some area, were the the creep and we were probably teased and made fun of. I, I thankfully had a lot of really great friends, but they would tease me either about my weight or my religion. But then I, I, of course, there are people who were things that they honestly couldn't choose and were made fun of those things, you know, whether it's their skin color or crap like that. It actually never bothered me when I got like racial jokes, by the way. But again, we all have a different experience. But I, again, this song I feel can speak to all of us. And the fate, the look in both of those guys' faces when they started singing it just made me, it, it like reminds of the times you felt like that. And yeah, it's just sad. The, and that effect of looking at themselves in the mirror. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. Uh, this is so oh, beautiful. Jeez. Oh, 
gosh! Is that the Anthony dude? Oh, that was good. Oh my gosh. Whatever you want. Whatever is so very special. Oh, I wish I was special. But I'm a creep. Oh, dude, don't make me cry, bro. Come on, man. We're already. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. Oh. What an effective change. Sorry, I'm running that note back. I don't belong here. Oh, that was genius. Well, that was, jeez, that was, that's that's embarrassing, man. I hate crying on here. All right, so talk about how it's relatable because all of us are at times and places we don't feel like we belong, so we feel like a creep. But I never thought about this, and this is probably not what they're trying to say, nor what freaking what uh, Tom York from Radiohead is probably not what they meant, but maybe it is. I don't know. Before you correct me, all of us like music says the thing to us that we need to hear in that moment, okay? So this is just what it's speaking to me um, at this time. But that looking of yourself in the mirror out of uh, feeling like this creep, feeling like you don't belong because maybe of maybe of mistakes you made. For some reason, it took me to moments in my life where I've looked myself in the mirror like that way and disgusted and disappointed in myself because I wasn't living up to my values, my standards. And, it, and maybe it was moments where my... Uh, like my temper, like I maybe expressed my temper in a really bad, uh, uh, like unproductive way. And I was really ashamed of that. And I feel like the song <laughs> does a great job at painting the picture of if you fall too far into that shame without b getting yourself out of it, you're going to get to a place where you start believing like you don't belong here. And hopefully that does not lead to something else. But uh, we all get there, man. So yeah, oftentimes in life, right, we're in places we don't belong and that the song can speak to that. But I think it's hitting me more that to me, the song is more about it's a it's a warning if you're just not being true to who you are, nor are you trying to be your best, nor are you asking help from others when you're not meeting your 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 values. Right. And and the best thing you can do when you feel things like this is to talk to someone and very clear. And we all need those people in our life. I thankfully, my wife and I can talk about all these things very, very directly. And we don't sh shame each other. We, we, we listen to each other. And because of that, we can kind of snap out of it. So we all need that. As I pay attention to the lyrics too, it's this feeling that you feel when you're actually rejected. There's clearly a love interest here that's leaving him. I don't know how I didn't notice that in the, in the song. But he's being left and that feeling of being essentially rejected is, uh, yeah, your mind will spiral down this place as well. This feeling of uh, like you don't belong, that you're, uh, you know, this low self-esteem, it's a, it's a signal to yourself to, well, find your self-respect by doing those things that maybe you're afraid to do, whatever. So seeing these dudes sing this and the way they looked at themselves in the mirror like that just took me to that place, bro. So powerful. This is uh, this is my favorite thing about music. It makes you think and it makes you uh, makes you better. 
Anthony, I, I don't know how to pronounce his, his name, bro, but unbelievable. Never heard of the dude. He's, he's 17? My gosh. Great voice, wishing him all the success in the world. Um, Eli, that tenor voice of his, unmatched, but then look at look at this arrangement. Absolutely beautiful. Of course, we know Jeff is going to crush it. I like what they did with his part. But um, again, uh, Cesar De La Rosa, man. He's the baritone, right? Cesar? Uh, that intro and outro. Gosh, bro. That was a needed experience. That was a needed moment. That was beautiful. Anxious to hear uh, from you guys uh, what, what made you love this song so much. What Because interpretations of songs are unique to all of us because of the things we're going through and all of that anxious to hear what the song why what why do you think this song has been so successful and so widely you know covered and whatnot what makes it so powerful what does it say to you anxious to hear from y'all well all right guys Whew. there we go till the next one